Hey friends, it's Alex from Vulture Culture, and this is the Emu Pro DS Plus Orchestral Master Performance System from 1991. This is the Concert Grand. Immediately, I can see why this was huge in 1991, because, you know, this level of sampling detail is got to have been pretty close to brand new. I have a video on my channel where I compare the piano sounds of Addictive Keys and Keyscape, and it's my most popular video. What's interesting is this sounds really good. And this thing came out, what, 30 years before those products? So pretty crazy. Shimmer waves. And then we get shit like this. Just want to take a second here and say, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. It makes a huge difference, and I am covering a lot of vintage synthesizers and samplers like this one in the future. And by the way, hit that notification bell and like this video. It makes a huge difference. Oh yeah, I love these types of sounds. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. There's something uh, so characteristic to the Proteus sound. This is brass section. Oh, it's terrible. You got sustains down here, I guess. <laughs> Not my type of thing. Chorus choir. Oh yeah. Proteus was used by Mark Snow to score the X-Files. Also, Robin Miller used this exact model, the Proteus Plus Orchestral, I don't know if you can see this over here, Master Performance System, which is the keyboard version of the rack mount to score the original Mist from 1995. It's in fact the only synth or sampler, I should say, that he used. So the entire Mist soundtrack is hidden away within this puppy right here. Major Solo. Oh yeah, I love this type of shit. A little bit of uh, vibrato here. Oh, sweet and sexy. That sounds very nice down here. Heaven's sake. Oh yeah, this is like, God, we've been used in a million songs. I'm just a slut for those types of sounds. Pop percussion? We got some reverse. Ooh, oh yeah. So. Miracle bass. Metal cables. Whoa, fuck. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out if there's like any specific way that these were organized. Might be doing this the wrong way. But I kind of like that I'm just getting a random sound each time. has built-in effects. It's actually surprisingly rare for these synthesizers. Ooh, yeah. New Age solo. It's like a little trumpet with some vibe in me. modulation and tremolo is great. Herb Essence. Yes! Fuck yeah! Fucking slot for pads. Bad bass. Not that bad. Ooh, I feel like this might have been used in mist. It kind of sounds misty. So like... Prockle's har harem? Water phone? Whoa, fuck. Okay. Orchestra hit. I feel like this was used in Mist, but let's see if I can. There was some of this. That was definitely a thing, I feel like. Solo trumpet? Oof, nasty. The brass patches are really thin sounding compared to everything else. I don't know why exactly. Maybe that's just how stuff is. Set of nights? Agent Cooper. Wait a second, I wonder if this is a Twin Peaks. Is this supposed to be the sound? The intro to Twin Peaks, Latin drums. Oh my god, that is straight the fuck out of. Doesn't that remind you of like one of the ages? What's that? I feel like that was used in the earth age or whatever, the wood age. Ice forest. Totally bizarre sound. Synthericon. Must have been so much fun making these sounds, especially in 1991. So the actually, I should say the Proteus sounds are from 89, if I'm remembering correctly. And it was the Plus Orchestral came out in 90 or 91. And this master performance system came out for sure in 91. Immediately, this is the only hardware sampler I have, um, and that's because 
samplers aren't that interesting to me. I like making sounds. However, you know, comparing this to the hybrid synths like the SQ80, the DW8000, the additive K5000S, the analog, like the Korg Poly 6, um, wave sequencing and sample plus synthesis with the wave station M1, the MS2000B and JP8000 virtual analogs. There's something so nice about just turning the, the knob here, the little dial, it's like an alpha dial from an alpha Juno. And just, here's a good sound, you know? It's not like, it, it, there's not the same element of like, okay, I'm gonna make something cool. Holy shit, is this stuff useful compared to the kind of slave labor you have to do to get a good sound with some of these things. Like, it's kind of nice to just be able to go like, And then just move the knob and go. You know, just just here we go. And then we're on to something else. Dirty pad. Wyo. What a cool sound. So there's a fifth in there. So when I hit this note, it sounds off because this note doesn't have a fifth. So, but if I can try to avoid that and go. Really unique sound. I really like that one. Big city brass. Really thin brass sounds. Kind of over that. Yin yang percussion. Ooh. French horns. Still thin. But rounder. More usable, I suppose. Fantasia. Well, that's <laughs> ripping off a D50, right? Okay, I see what you're doing there. Planet X. What the fuck? All right, Omnimax. Useful strings immediately. Solo trombone. That's okay. I don't mind it being thinner when it's a solo, right? So it kind of cuts through. Spun glass. Ow! Let's turn the volume down a little on this guy. It's okay. Power chords. Love a good guitar sound. Island fun. I'm on. Whoa. Oh, I love this sound. So S4's strings. Um, I should know the Italian there, but I don't. Nice complex envelope there. Oof. Oh, I love it. I wish I could take just the front off altogether and just use it as a swell. Underground. I wonder if that was used and missed at all. Windwood solo? Screw that. Master Choir. Whoa! Shit!
That sounds beautiful. Modern harp. Board alto sax. Still, still thin. I was hoping to find that sound. You know, the, the stuff that's, you know, analog synth sounding is pretty good. But you get that sort of like over polished thing. Church. An organ. Stagger waves. All right. Nice little flangery thing. Balinesia. Get weird, uh, weird notes. Cool. Misty. Synth quartet. Little high pass action. Lost souls. God, I hope this sound is good. Useful for something. Rock drums. A little snap there. Twirl and get. I love like a good uh, E guitar sound. Stereo mutes, Cosmo bells, ring mod, rock fifths. Wide marimba, slap pop bass. Is this the, I've, I've heard a rumor this was the Seinfeld sound. Maybe if I learned how to play that. Waves, please be good. Oh, it's a wave station. Love it. Rock piano. New orchestra. Annoying. Whoa. Wish it wasn't thin. 12 string. Oh God, yes. Beautiful. Verb flute. Oh gosh, this sound. Do you guys remember this one? Sand ship, right? Stone ship? What was it called? Definitely a thing. Oh, that's also a sound. I didn't realize that's like. It's a sound I remember too. Same patch, just a different, you know, octaves. Beautiful. Verb flute. I got to remember that one. Ooh, cello. Quartet. Solo chamber. Beautiful. Being a dream. Interesting that now we're all in string sounds. It's like, I don't know, room of strings.
Что с тобой, ЛМ? Пайлен Виола. Well, I really gave you a lot of options here. Bass. Ooh, quite beautiful. Ooh, this definitely feels misty. Lots of pizzicato. Whoa. Got a little bit of uh, flaming there. This thing is so fucking deep. Beautiful piano trio. Strings and winds. What is the... Very misty sounding. This is uh, from the intro, right? Definitely a missed sound. That was sub it. Okay, so I just looked it up, and I don't think this has the Whistlin' Joe patch that um, Mark Snow used for the X-Files. Slightly disappointing. This thing is huge. It's crazy. Actually kind of hurt. I've spent so much time just going through 400 different sounds. I mean, it's, it's vast. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's incredible. It really is a cool thing. And for me, I wanted to get at least one sampler, hardware sampler, vintage sampler, that address the issue of like when you have a bunch of analog and hybrid subtractive synths you sort of kind of have the same palette from all the synths i mean they do sound different poly 6 sounds different than the dw 8000 but overall you do just sort of get stuck in like a certain type of sound and so to be able to do things like have pianos and choirs and strings and all sorts of shit that's really cool and i'm excited to have this and part of the tonal possibilities that i could have so anyways if you like this video like it on the thing below me subscribe to the channel ring the bell and i'll see you in the next video